Hey, Barry, and I am with Tremaine Williams. And you say, who is Tremaine Williams? Well, let me just say, Grammy nominated. He's a producer. He's an engineer, musician. This brother has done it all. And uh, he was born and raised in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. Went to high school. Where'd you go to high school? In Low and Word of God Christian Academy. And also music. What instruments do you play? Piano, drums, and a little bass. So he's got that musical talent. So when he goes into the studio and mixes things down, this brother knows what he's talking about. But getting back to uh, Grammy nominated, you have worked with some great artists like uh, Usher, Shaka Khan, Janet Jackson, 50 Cent, and worked with Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis for almost four years. So how did that uh, come about with working with Flight Time and Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis? Uh, I was actually a counselor at a Grammy camp. Uh, we have a camp every summer. And so we had to take the kids to camp, I mean, to flight time for a tour, and I just kind of talked my way into a job. Hey, that's what you got to do. You got that pass. You say, hey, look, I can do this. I can, show, I can show you what I can do, and that's how you get your foot in the door. You got to be persistent. And let me just say, this is the next Quincy Jones here. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing, but I'm serious. I'm very dead serious about this young man. We met, oh, years ago. He would come to my remotes when he was a little kid with his mom. And, you know, the first thing you would see was this big smile. And I could see right then and there he was passionate about doing a lot of things in his, you know, his career at a very young age. And I'm like, wow, this kid's going to be something. So where did you get your uh, professional training as far as being an engineer? I went to Full Sail University down in Florida in 2003, and then from there I just moved straight out to California as an intern. Just on a hope and a prayer and just moved out there and said, okay, I hope things work out for you. But things are working out for you. Let me just say, he just scored his first movie, The Last Swallow with Lance Gross. What was that experience like? It was amazing. I, I didn't plan on doing it. Uh, my manager uh, manages the director of the film and so it kind of just came together and I'm grateful for the opportunity and we are grateful for your music I was listening to it on Amazon and I'm like wow you've got some great stuff on there on the soundtrack thank you I uh, co-produced two songs mixed two or three songs and mastered the project and we have all independent artists on there so if you can go support It'll uh, help everybody pay their bills. So who are some of the independent ar artists you have on the uh, soundtrack? Uh, Ndambi, Fresh, uh, Darian, and Journey Rain are just a few. Remember those names. I keep telling this young man is awesome, up and coming, and you've done some other things with the BET, uh, uh, the, what's that, the gospel show? Uh, Sunday Best. And you've also done something for TV One, uh, Faith Evans. I worked on uh, R&B Divas TV show and ended up having a song uh, on the album, worked on the album. And you've got your own artist coming out real soon, right? Absolutely, uh, Brittany Wallace. It should be coming out around March of 2013. R&B music. So, to get into this field, engineering, what was the first thing that you learned when you first stepped through that door? You was like, oh, wow, look at this uh, audio console. Were you, like, apprehensive at first? I was a little bit. Uh, I kind of engineered at my church, Compassionate, uh, for right before I left, but I still didn't really know what I was doing. So when I got there and I just saw tons of knobs and faders, and I was, I was kind of scared. But you said, what does this do? Yeah, What's but this do? What does it do? They let you in class. They sit you in there for four hours in your lab, and they just let you have at it. So what was the turning point as growing up that you wanted to do uh, engineering, and you know, what were you doing when you that, that aha moment came to you? I was. Uh, it was 2001, Jill Scott's first album. I was on spring break uh, in Kentucky at my grandmother's house in the basement, and I listened to that album, and that that was the turning point that made me realize like this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. So how can our listeners get up with you and keep listening to your great music? Uh, 6 7 com and that's S-I-X and the number 7 and I'm on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook 6-7-music. Tremaine Williams, remember this, man, this, this young man's name. Tremaine Williams, he is going to be the next Quincy Jones bar none. <laughs> See that smile? Oh my goodness. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>